hey guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm doing something a little different something i didn't really think i would do ever never really crossed my mind until yesterday when i was like okay honey you gotta film what are you gonna do there's no eyebrow pencil left like it's just a nub so i was like why not just get rid of my brows and i was like okay <laughs> so literally this is the different change of plan because originally i was just gonna like fill them in with like maybe some eyeshadow or something like that but now i am going to be using glue to get rid of my eyebrows um i don't know how this is gonna turn out but i hope you enjoy watching uh, this video and see me cover my brows and doing a little bit of an eyeshadow look um so yeah this is gonna be new for you and new for me i never saw myself doing this but i thought it'd be fun thought it'd be cool um and i just i don't have any more eyebrow pencil anyway so it's a win-win situation i'm not using the nub i'm gonna need this for later actually so i'm gonna use this so we can get rid of this so because i have never done this before i made sure i watched you know some tutorials on what to do um their first step is usually to brush the eyebrow here so i'm going to take my little spoolie that i got and brush up my non-existent hairs um there's nothing really there to brush up i don't know if you can tell there is a difference but we're just going to attempt and i'm only going to do one eye i just find that doing two eyes is just going to be too much of a hassle because i first time first time doing it you know so just one eye just one eye so we're just gonna we're gonna focus on this eye today so yeah first step is to brush the eyebrow here up here hair <laughs> up can't really brush up what isn't there okay so we're gonna take our trusty washable school glue here elmer's for the win and we're just going to brush up so the, a lot of the tutorials that i watched on people doing this they had a lot more eyebrow hairs than i do so it was a lot more layering to get it flat but honestly it's kind of already flat for me so i feel like this is this is going to be great it's going to turn out wonderful so i'm just going to brush up probably did a lot more glue than i needed to but it's okay. I'm actually going to do the second eye. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little so you can see what I did. So you guys are not confusion like me. Okay, so we are zoomed in. Like I'm filling up your whole computer screen, phone screen, TV screen, whatever you're watching it on. So what we're doing is we're just brushing up on our eyebrow hairs. Our non-existent eyebrow hairs like so i'm actually like actually trying to brush up the little hairs that i have mind you there's not really much to brush up because i don't really have long hairs on my eyebrows so they're actually just gonna stay put and not move i'm gonna take my glue and we're just going to go up in like the up motion like so I feel like I'm putting on too much glue, um, but that's what's done. And actually, this one is dry, um, and I'm just really feeling glue. So I think we are good there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom back out so I'm not a hindrance to you. I think this is where I was before. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. So what I saw a lot of people doing is taking like... A wipe or something and wiping away the excess glue um, after it's dry so we're gonna wait for this side to dry but this side is pretty much dry it's flat here I'm gonna take a wipe and I'm actually gonna use some alcohol that I got just to like give it some dampness and we're just going to rub away extra glue. 
I feel like this is not the best solution because it's creating like uh, I don't know it's lifting I don't know if you could see that but I'm like actually um probably not the best solution but if we need to we can just go back in with the glue to create a smoother smoother transition yeah it's just all lifting up um, honestly so not doing that we're actually gonna go right back in with the glue and just do one streak to get it as flat as possible pretty much dry down people just take their powder and already I feel weird you can still kind of see it I don't think it's gonna be covered like super well um, but it's gonna be something I'm gonna go in with NARS radiant creamy concealer and just pat pat on top like so just right on top of it use the other side so this is the dirty side this is the cleaner side <laughs> and just I might need something a little stronger so I'm also going to put in a little bit of foundation honestly for never having done this before this is not turning out too bad it could be covered a lot more I think it just had to do with how I placed on the glue I should have probably put more glue down to create it like flat it was the glue is already like lifting and peeling so like you can see more hairs peeking through on this side but honestly honestly not too shabby um, I'm gonna set this again put more foundation on to like try and cover it some more I think that's as covered as they're going to get <laughs> honestly um, I wish they were a little bit more covered but I think it just has to do with the glue this is my first time I I don't really feel that weird because I can still see it if it was a lot more covered then I'll probably feel like whoa if that makes sense but because I can still actually see them it's just like eh yeah they're covered but like they're still kind of there but I'm actually so it's you know kind of eh for me um, if I were to give myself a grade for this little coverage situation that I just did, I would probably give myself like a C. Um, this one that I said I wasn't going to do to begin with, but ended up actually doing just to show you guys what I was doing, turned out the worst. So I probably shouldn't have done it in the first place, but it's fine. Like, we're just going to have to work with it. Um, this one. The one that I said I was going to do in the first place um, actually is a little bit more covered and this is like I feel like a beginner brow and this is like you tried and it didn't it didn't work <laughs> if that makes sense like I feel like this would be acceptable for the people um, that actually cover their brows to see me with because like first timer here so not too shabby so this is where i'm kind of like what to do i want to cover my like whole everything with the primer but i'm not really sure about how i'm gonna go about it but so i'm just gonna take some of my brush and we're gonna pat it on pretty much into the brows today honestly this glue is actually poking out so much now what in the world I don't know if the fact that it's a disappearing purple um, glue has anything to do with why it's showing up so much or it's just my lack of technique um, we can blame it on the glue um, many of you might blame it on my technique 
I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but all the glue that I've put on is pretty much lifting. But now it's just a mess. It's really just a mess. I don't even know if I should continue, but I'm actually going to just finish this up. We all know this was an epic fail today. Yeah, like it literally just all coming off. So that's pretty much it for the eye look. Um, I'm going to finish my makeup off camera, try to fix my eyebrows so they kind of disappear more, and then talk about this conundrum of a mess I created <laughs> with my eyebrows. So I went ahead and just finished up my makeup off camera. I actually ended up fixing my brows a little bit. Um, I don't think they turned out great so I take my D plus and I raise it to a C so I if I was to give myself like a final grade for this look it would probably be a C I ended up just using the glue again and just going over it and I like how it turned out I wish I spent more time on it but it's fine they're still visible so it's not like I have no eyebrows but at the same time I have no eyebrows so this is how the look turned out I think it turned out good in makeup wise my eyebrows though are very patchy so it's kind of like uh to me um so I'm giving myself a C I'm calling this a fail we may attempt again uh, we may we may attempt again I would have to see if I use a different glue or different methods, if that's going to help it lay flat. All in all, I love how the makeup look turned out. Um, the no eyebrow thing is still kind of weird to me, but I honestly feel the same because I'm just used to having no eyebrows on my face. Um, I don't know how it looks on camera. I don't know if it's like even more like no eyebrows. So tell me how I look. Tell me if I look weird in the comments down below. If you can see any of my eyebrow hairs or not. Um, I don't know if you could have saw them in the beginning to begin with, but <laughs> even now, like that, it, that they're not supposed to be there. Let me know if you actually see them. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do another no eyebrow look, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel um, and click the bell notification so you are notified when I upload. And I guess that is all. I'll see you guys in my next video.